Good morning. Good morning. morning. And good morning. I actually had to rush down here uh, to exercise my uh, right of free speech because I I just heard on CNN that the Supreme Court, uh, yeah, you know, the Supreme Court has ruled that individual right of free speech may interfere with corporate right of speech. So we only have a couple of weeks to speak. Uh, I, I didn't even see, my, I'm, my vision isn't that good, I, I wasn't able to see when you had voted on the issue, but I think we all know in our hearts, considering the history of the matter, that it's clearly unconstitutional to make sets of laws aimed at specific groups. You all know the history of these laws, when they started, how they started, why they started, and who started them. The laws were clearly passed for racist reasons, political reasons, economic reasons. And those motivations, I am sad to say, exist to this day because of the necessity of political expediency. You have to balance the interests of two essentially opposing groups. On one hand, you have people who want to have control over their own bodies and their own lives. What a silly proposition. And on the other hand, you have people who want to control other people's lives. So. The Fourth Amendment and the pursuit of happiness. What exactly did the framers have in mind? Now, this I, I realize this is not the Supreme Court. But as a jurisdictional body, you have the right to either pass laws or ignore laws. And I think we judge a society or a government based not just on what laws they pass, but what laws they ignore. Currently, the city does choose to ignore laws that endanger life. So there's a discrepancy there, and it is unconstitutional to go after individuals based on politics or race. That's how those laws started. You were here to correct the wrong, and I believe today something happened that fell short of that. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh,